What's going on guys? It is your boy Ritter from Watch Society. So I did speak about this guy. This is the 6119 Calatrava. This is not your grandfather's cool watch. That's that's not what it is anymore. It used to be it used to be the case for the 6119. You know, it's an old look, it's a vintage look, but they've changed that. Patek Philippe absolutely changed that. So 21st April 2021 is when Patek Philippe dropped this 6119R Calatrava. This is the rose gold Calatrava. It was my first Patek Philippe. I talked about it in a previous video and I'll leave the link in the description down below. There is the hubnail pattern that was added around the bezel. Of course, this, this is very, very important for Patek Philippe, but it's also important because this is the caliber transitional reference right so this carries the 3255 caliber so this is when Patrick Philippe said let's no longer use the 215 caliber let's transition to this 3255 so this is still a manual winding it's still cool to do that or with the hubnail pattern or clause de paris is what they call it but what happened right so this was completely unplanned i take this trip to holland i'm in holland i'm walking around and this guy was there i didn't even plan for this to happen right i would have loved to have this instead of this guy you know because this is supposed to be a little bit more limited i mean i don't know man like i didn't plan this i didn't i didn't say to myself i'm gonna go and buy a 6119 from holland but it was just there and i know how difficult is it to get this 6119 because i had to wait after launch one year to get this watch right so uh, i've done a video on this and it's linked in the description but this was there and i asked myself why is it there why would this 6119 g be on display so i asked the lady is this for sale or is this just an exhibition piece and her response to me is that this belonged to a customer that is no longer interested in it so it's available for sale and that happened all an hour ago from the time i stepped in and the funny part is that this is the one that is actually more limited right so between the rose and the white the white is actually more limited it's uncommon for Patek Philippe to make a Calatrava with a gray dial like this. So this is actually considered a little bit more sought after than the already sought after 6119R. All right, so here's my initial thoughts about it. Let's get this easy stuff out of the way. So it's 39 mm wide, just like the rose gold that I talked about in my previous video. It's got the same exact thickness, which is about 8.8 mm and a 46.9 mm lug to lug. So a shout out to Patek for including lug to lug in the tech spec by the way so this is not something that they usually do both have sapphire display case backs the alligator straps you get the brown on the rose gold and you get the black on the white gold 30 meter of water resistance and again you know this is not the type of watch you want to wash your hands with pay attention to that this is a beautiful reference this is a reference that denotes Patek Philippe's move basically from the caliber 215 to the caliber 3255 which is an updated manual caliber now conversely speaking the 6119G has a gray black dial with a vertical brushed finish and snailed finished on the sub dials as well something was really attractive about this watch you know white gold or silver watches in general on this classic look could be a little bit could look dated and they could be a little bit boring but somehow the hubnail pattern here on the bezel is really doing the trick so it's adding that element of shine which makes this uniquely positioned as a white gold classic watch that is still a little bit fun even though it's got a classic black alligator strap it's the same exact watch i just thought you know what the rose gold looks nicer but then when you look at the white gold again because of the hubnail pattern around the bezel it's still a very very sexy watch so of course the inspiration for this calatrava comes from the old back catalog that dates to 1932 with the reference 96. now these new calatravas of course are a little bit bigger the standardization as i said in my previous videos had changed so up until 2016 these calatravas would have a, a closed case back and this is actually the first reference where Patek Philippe opens the case backs for these Calatravas. So I said, you have to have the 6119G right next to the 6119R. I mean, that is just, that is just a must. In many ways, Patek Philippe has created the new reference 6119 as an amalgam of the various past references while striving to make the watch, of course, even more modern as much as possible. So again, Patek Philippe managed to somehow fit and pair this very impressive uh, mainspring barrel into the 3255 caliber. So the power reserve that you would get is 65 hour plus or minus more or less 65 hours. I got used to the habit of just winding it every morning. Yeah, so there you go. That is the full 6119 
lineup. The white gold with the gray bezel, as well as the rose gold with the cream dial. I've got a Vacheron interview video that is super exciting. We had the opportunity to sit with the head of innovation, so that's coming up next. Look out for that video. But I do also have a flight to catch back to Dubai in four hours from now, so I wanna go get ready for that. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.